Yesterday was the American Beauty Influencer Awards and it was live on YouTube and so many of you were in the comments, girl, clocking at the house. Manny MUA won his award. Patrick Starr was on stage, okay? And when they went up there, they gave each other a hug. If you clock at the house, Patrick Starr gave him a little, a little like, it was like, a, it was just like, you know, like a church hug. Like it wasn't like a lemmy, it was like a lot of side eye. People were clocking at the house, girl. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lux in today's video, girl. Woo, we got some drama, girl. Oh, honey, 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 girl. Start the video, girl. Four hours later, the Animalia manicocolitis manimueus is still squiggling around and leeching and sucking and sucking and leeching Jacqueline Hill and Jeffree Star. Anything for views. So if you didn't know, Laura Lee posted her video yesterday and within 20 minutes, she disabled the comments. Yes, girl, everyone was, the comments were full of hate, girl, talking about Laura the Leech. Not even Laura Lee, Laura the Leech, girl, I started laughing my ass off. Again, she couldn't take the criticism, girl, the people poking fun and she disabled the comments the house, you know, and people have been speculating maybe, maybe it's because she doesn't want sponsors to find out how people view her a certain way. Well, apparently, according to yesterday's video, Laura Lee has a big, big plans for her brand. So big, but all we know that it's just big, girl. She probably wants to go, my opinion, she probably wants to go into like home design, candles, clothing, the Laura Lee lifestyle. But honestly, I mean, it's super rare that somebody can take a brand and push it to that level you know what i'm saying a youtuber can maybe do a collab maybe come out with the palette se sell a few t-shirts girl a whole clothing line collection couches the de home decor uh, it's super rare not everybody can do it and i think that laura lee is extremely lucky to have gotten this far and you know a lot of it is hard work and dedication but do you think that she can expand her brand past makeup maybe into like yoga mats and water bottles and cars and who knows girl she has this big vision that only she could see i don't know how far she will go i really don't see it going very far past the whole makeup and beauty thing. I don't think that she is a lifestyle brand, but maybe a beauty brand. That's just my opinion, girl, and I hope she proves me wrong. Well, girl, yesterday was the American Beauty Influencer Awards, and it was live on YouTube, and so many of you were in the comments, girl, clocking at the house. You got to see what everybody was wearing. Patrick Starr had a sickening gown, girl, amazing. Manny MUA was there, Manny the Leech, copper eyelid, new lip, full glory girl. And she went to the awards show knowing damn well she sick the house, spreading all her germs across to everybody in the audience girl. Well, a lot of you had a lot to say about the American Beauty Influencer Award girl. And so did a lot of people girl. You know, Jeffree Star was not in attendance. And a lot of people were like, Jeffree Star didn't even win one award? Jeffree Star wasn't even nominated. What the hell is going on? Well, I know for a fact Jeffree Star was sitting at home, girl, watching it on live too. She wasn't in the comments, but she was watching the house, girl, and she had plenty to say. One tweet in particular, somebody said, a room full of people, that little sad clap. Check out the tweets. Some people were offended too that Jackie Ina wouldn't, didn't win something. And I know that Manny Hemingway won an award as well. I think he won Influencer of the Year or something like that. <laughs> I, 
in my mind, I'm like, this just makes no sense. He barely even posts videos. Can't even keep sponsors the house, but yeah, he's influencer of the year. Girl, that some some of these people that were there were just clearly to sell tickets, girl. Well, a lot of you have said, I don't have the clip, but I'm pretty sure if you go to the American Beauty Influencer Award YouTube page, maybe the video's up, I don't know. But Manny MUA won his award. Patrick Starr was on stage, okay? And when they went up there, they gave each other a hug. If you clock at the house, Patrick Starr gave him a little, a little like, it was like, a, it was just like, you know, like a church hug. Like it wasn't like a let me hold you. It was like from afar, like, oh girl, get out of here. Like it was like a lot of side eye. People were clocking at the house, girl. It was drama, drama, drama. So many people did not agree with who won, who should have won. You know who should have won American Influencer Award? That boy with the blue hair, Gabriel Zamora. And Nikita Dragon should have snatched up trophies too, my opinion, girl. Because you know what? As much as we like to throw shade and poke fun and all that stuff, they're putting in work. And they're not mega, mega known with millions and millions and millions of subscribers. That's the people I like to see win. I like to see the underdog, the people with just a couple hundred thousand subscribers. No one really knows them that well, but they're up and coming. That's what I like to see, girl. I don't want to see people with four, eight, nine, twelve million subscribers snatching up trophies, girl. Everybody already knows them, the house. You know what I'm saying? You take people like that and you make them presenters. You don't give them awards. They're already winners, okay? You get, oh, it just doesn't make any sense to me, girl. I don't know why it was set up that way. So Kim Kardashian's makeup artist was there. He also snatched trophy. And Manny Amy Way, of course, was just, I don't know. It sounded like she was drunk or some girl with her Snapchat. I don't know what was going on, girl. But she was Snapchat away. Speaking of awards, girl, my fat ass was snatching trophies too, girl. Check it out. So a couple months ago, I asked for a call to action. And I asked you guys to click the link down below and vote for me and blah, blah, blah. And so many of you did. And then a couple weeks later, there was another award show announced. And so I asked y'all to do it again for the second time and y'all did. So when everything came out to be, the award show was gonna be Thursday and there's another award show Friday. So it was like back-to-back -back award shows. Well, girl, I didn't know what was gonna go on. But the very first one, I snatched Trophy Girl, the gayest and greatest favorite national vlogger, Rich Lux the House Girl. Yes, ma'am. So this was it. This was by Outsmart Magazine. And this was the actual issue of Outsmart Magazine. And in the magazine, my name is in it, girl. And it, and it tells you who I ran up again. And I was like, yes, I'm gonna frame this girl. It's awesome. And this, so if it wasn't for you guys voting, I would not even be sitting here talking to you about it. So I feel so lucky and so fortunate to have you guys believe in me enough to take the time out of your busy days and vote. And then the second award, which is the next day, was this one, I snatched trophy again. And the nominees are Carol Wyatt, Katie Doyle, Rich Lux, and Joey Guerrero. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Social media blogger of the year goes to Rich Lux. This is an F for the Face Awards. And this was Social Media Blogger of the Year. And my name right here. And some of the people I ran up against. There was like a whole red carpet and stuff. And if you follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat, you saw the whole behind the scenes and stuff. But it was so draining to go back to back and then sit through the whole entire award shows twice. And a lot of it was like the same people that were at the first one. So it's kind of like a different crowd. But I just wanted to take time and acknowledge you guys for voting. I don't want it to seem like I'm just snatching trophies and not saying thank you or anything like that. I really do appreciate it. Like, I, like last year, girl, I didn't win any. Anything. Nobody knew who I was, girl. Nobody was bothered by busted ass Rich Lux, girl. But I'm just glad that YouTube gave me this platform so I can connect with you guys. Y'all are just liking what I'm putting out there. So that's the proof right there. So I really appreciate it. Back to busted ass Laura Lee. Back to Laura the Leech, girl. So in her video with Manny Amy Way and Jaclyn Hill, there was a lot of tea to be spilled, girl. And I know the video is very long and I know y'all are not bothered to sit through it. Well, I'm gonna help you out. Around the 20 minute mark, maybe 19, 20 minute mark, they start talking about YouTube drama. And it has been mentioned, they talked about Morphe and how people are so get upset over them pushing Morphe and how they feel it's not that big of a deal. And it's really not that big of a deal, but when you put it down their throats all the time, 
it's kind of annoying. Every once in a while is nice, but girl, come on. And like I said before, Jaclyn Hill has as much work as she's put into Morphe. She could have come out with her own brand. Then Jaclyn Hill made a statement. Well, you know, pushing Morphe codes is just like working at Nordstrom's. I I guess she worked at Nordstrom's because she's saying that if you work at Nordstrom's and you sell stuff, you make 3% commission. And she's like, it's just like that. No, I have to disagree, Jaclyn Hill. I have to disagree, Jaclyn Anything for Views Hill, because it's not. Let me tell you how it's different. See, when you work at Nordstrom's, right, you get all dressed up in your black cute little outfit, and you drive to work and fight the busted ass traffic, and you have to work around people you don't even like, like Yolanda. Hate her so much. She tries to get you fired all the time. Girl, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> no, no, no. So you're at work, right? And you love the job, but the people around you are getting on your nerves. And they're just, and then they want to steal your commissions. Girl, oh. You know, I used to work. I used to work at a department store one time during the holidays. And there were people who would steal commissions, girl. I, I remember this lady named Irma, and she would snatch all my commission, girl. She didn't care. Anyways, I digress. I love her so much. So you go up to the girl at Nordstrom's and you're looking at some makeup or something and they're going to tell you how fabulous and how amazing it is, girl. And then they sell it to you. And then that person makes 3% commission, okay? Well, honestly, working at the mall in the counter, girl, you're only statistically you're going to see so many people, okay? But when you're on YouTube, like Jaclyn Hill, who has like 4 million subscribers, and you push a product that you're not only making 3%, you're probably making more. And you're basically 4 million people have to sit there and listen to the, all that girl, and they might not even be interested in it. See, the people at the Nordstrom, they at least walk up because they have some interest in it, girl. Yeah, Jaclyn Hill is just talking about it all the time, regurgitating over and over and over. I just feel it's a little bit different, not quite the same. And I want to maybe argue that maybe the Nordstrom's people who make commission probably work a little bit harder than just sitting at home, putting on some makeup, and check out my Morphe code. It's linked down below. I, you get what I'm saying? It's just, I don't know. That's my opinion. I don't know how to have it. Apparently, the American Beauty Awards show was a total joke to a lot of people. I just feel like they should have had more people who were up and coming, girl, than supposed to just people we already know. So, these people, Jacqueline, Manny, they all snatched the awards, trophy the house. What about next year, girl? Are they going to give them the same awards next year? Or are they going to pick a whole different category? Of and if that's the case, and maybe it's just a revolving door of beauty gurus who go round and round. Girl, have y'all seen Nicole Guerrero's hair? I know, so I already know y'all in the comments. Nicole Guerrero? Who, she's still relevant? Nicole Guerrero? Girl, no, seriously. The, the girl dyed her hair, girl. And she wants to say that she looks like a unicorn. Girl, she's like a damn troll doll the house with that color hair. I cannot believe Nicole Guerrero paid money for that hair. Granted, I like it. I think it's cute. But she could have... Girl, you don't need to put your scalp through all that damage and chemicals the house, girl. Put on a wig, girl. Get your little hair. Tie it in a bun. or You know what I'm saying? And put on a little wig. See, look. If I was a girl... Let me tell you. If I was a girl, my nails would look like this. And I would always have... Press on, I will be that girl, I will be that girl. I have press on, really long, press on nails, okay? So that way it looks like I got them done, but when I get home, just flick them off, girl, it's only like a dollar, and throw them away. You know what I'm saying? That way, every every time you see me, it looks like I got a fresh pan, fresh manicure, but girl, no, my little, my little press on nails, not bother, but you wouldn't know it looks so sickening. And then, I would wear sickening evening gowns all the time, sometimes, and I would have gloves, and on those gloves, the nails will be glued on the glove. So that way I don't even have to wear nails sometimes. It's already built into the glove. And then I would have like short hair. And I'll have it like cut at an angle like this. Not like Victoria Beckham. We should have like a blonde hair kind of cut like that. And I have really short hair only because I want to put in extensions. And I can just put it in a little bun and put on wigs. Girl, I'll have red hair, yellow hair, blonde hair, purple hair. I would, seriously girl, I would be that girl. I'll be that girl. And every time y'all see me, I'll look like a different person, girl. I would look so snatched the house if I was a girl. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying girls really do have the most fun. But anyway, so Nicole Girl, uh, once again, is wasting her money and showing, showing it to the world, but no one's bother. That kind of reminds me of this one time. There was, okay, girl, I'm gonna be a little shady. There's this drag queen here. I love her so much. Her name is Coffee. 
And she's like a legend in the community where I live, right? Well, girl, coffee has been doing drag for years. Years! And I remember last year around Halloween time, I had went to her Halloween party at the club and she does like a little costume contest and you win like $500 or something like that. There was this guy in front of me, he was kind of cute girl. I could tell that he was not like the rest. Like, you know, you know when you can see somebody who's been in the army, they kind of carry themselves differently and stuff like that. So I could tell that he just got back from being deployed, probably serving overseas in Afghanistan, Iraq, who knows girl, but he was gone for a while based on the conversations we had afterwards. But I didn't know that at that time, girl. So he was in front of me and here comes, they said, bring it to the stage, coffee. And here comes coffee girl coming out, Miss Thing. You know, she's like a big girl and she's up there dancing. And the guy, he had a couple drinks already. He was like, coffee, coffee still performs? And he was like so excited, girl. He looked to his friend this way. He looked to his friend that way. He looked behind him. Coffee still performs? Oh my God. He's literally having like a nervous breakdown. Coffee still performs? Girl, he was like, and then he took to his friend. I've been gone overseas in the army for over five years and I'm back and coffee still performs? Oh my God. I was sitting there laughing so freaking hard, girl. Cause here you got this guy who probably grew up in the gay scene, girl. And probably the last night he flew out to go join the army. He came out to the club to celebrate one more time. And there was coffee performing. Five years later, he's back at the club, girl. And coffee. Coffee still performs, girl. Until this day, when I see coffee, I always yell, Coffee still performs! But everyone doesn't understand what I'm talking about, and they never will. And coffee always looks at me, what the hell, you're on, right? But it, to me, it's like an inside joke, and I love it so much. And uh, coffee, I think I think last year, a year before, she went on to win Miss Continental, girl. I love her so much. Amazing. But till this day, coffee still performs, girl. Yeah, she... Oh my God, I love it so much. So with that being said, I wonder, like five years from now, will Manny MUA still perform in Laura Lee, girl? I don't know, I really wanna know. You know, this is an interesting topic that has been come up time and time again. It's the fact that, is the beauty community over? Now that Jeffra, Laura, Manny, all that drama, there's all falling apart, girl. Is the beauty community coming to an end here on YouTube? Because then, if that's the case, girl, then I gotta start talking about Faze Banks and Jake Paul and all that boring drama. I call that the straight drama. I like the gay drama, girl. I much rather talk about beauty gurus and all the drama. But it's coming to be like, it's coming to be like, girl, these clicks are falling apart. And I'm here for it, but how long is it gonna continue, girl? You know what I'm saying? Ev evidently, I gotta pack up my bags and do another gig somewhere else. But I'm hoping, which I'm thinking, that as long as there's makeup in this world, there always will be drama. And if that's the case, then I know me and you guys and the beauty community will be here for a very, very long time. And as long as there's people out there who can take a foundation and talk about it for 10 to 16 minutes, there will be a beauty community because I have seen people on YouTube literally make videos about tasting a water review. And if that, and that's what gives me hope that this beauty community ain't going anywhere. Okay, if you did not like the video, my name is Laura the Leech. But if you did like the video, my name is Rich Lux. Smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you like the video, share it. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters. So when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life, they'll never get back. Don't forget, I do have merchandise down below, so check it out if you want. And I do have affiliate links for my lip and the contour I use down below as well. All right, see you in the next video. Peace. Bye, love you so much.